Hello everyone, it's me again, Funk Doc, and this time we have an especially rare treat for you, and that would be a four-player game on Baden Württemberg. So uh, I'll explain the, this map again since it's uh, a map that's almost never played on BSW. I really like it, but a lot of people don't, and you can see kind of see why here, just how ugly it is on BSW. And especially the fact that everything's in German makes it a little tricky for some people to navigate the interface. Uh, pro tip, market, marked is market, ver, Verwaltung, not sure how that's pronounced, uh, that's the power plant manager. Rechner is calculator, that's the important one that people tend not to uh, spot at first. Rechner is calculator, Auszahlung is the payment chart, and Nachschub is the... Restock rate for resources. So uh, we have some uh, players that are less often featured on this channel here. It's me, Hypnos Fee, Roos, and Pagpo. Hypnos and Roos are veterans of the game. Uh, Roos more so. Hypnos has a decent amount of experience. And Pagpo is an unknown. I have never seen this person before. Okay, 30 games, 13% win rate. So yeah, new to the game. Now I pass on the four. The four went for nine bucks to Pagpo. So again, we'll explain. Baden has a lot of weird rule changes, which is probably another reason people don't like the map. It's hard to get used to. Uh, the main things to know are that the turn order changes after the auction phase instead of at the end of the turn. So that gives you, uh, that gives you more reason not to build. So I think in this situation, I'd rather I'd much rather go for the nine than the eight because of how the turn order works here. Because depending on what plant we end up with next turn, that could grant me better turn order in turn two. Whereas with the eight, I'd have to build two cities, and that would almost guarantee I'd be stuck up top after, after the next auction. So yeah, you can already see already how Baden is changing how you play. And 12 comes in early, not great. On the other hand, it's sort of better to move for moving the market if 12 comes early than late. Like on turn two, 12 is still worth buying. Not so much when it pops up on say turn five. Hypnos buys max oil, just going ham. I think the fourth oil is a mistake in the plant three position personally. You only need to buy the three just to make the oil a little more expensive for me. Also interesting that Roos is not storing extra resources. And Hypnos already built two, which makes me feel great. So I'm guaranteed to go below them in the next turn, since I only need, again, the reason I chose the 9 over the 8 is that I only need to build in one city to get full value from the 9. Alright, so... Oh, Roos smartly just builds one, so there's at least one person to compete with me in the turn order department. Well, the build for me now is clearly in yellow. And as to where that yellow is going to be, I think it's Forsheim. Or is it? Like, this is either Forsheim or... Oh, no, yeah, Forsheim. We'll do this. So... This bottom Württemberg map, you may notice, says, says NBW here. That's apparently a real-life German power company of some sort. So that's an, this is like an officially licensed map, I guess, in Germany. Not in the U.S. release. In the U.S. version, so the, in the U.S., they released this on a board with uh, the Quebec map on the other side. Because Quebec also, like, they were, like, kind of the two maps that were released in other regions before, but not America. So 
Like, Quebec, I guess, was the other default map along with Germany in the Canadian original Canadian release of Power Grid. And then this was a... Uh, I think this was the other, like, default map in Germany, maybe? In some way, it was, it was released in Germany before. Anyway, I'm bidding extra for the 10 plant here because with all these higher-numbered plants coming, this can get me bottom in the turn order. So that's what I'm paying a little extra for here. Okay, I'm forcing Roos to buy the 8 instead, because Roos wants to stay below me in the turn order. Okay. Uh, this market's just going nuclear right now, ain't it? Where's 11? There we go, bidding for the 13. That's what I like to see. Not much bidding, though. As expected, because uh, the 16 is pretty tempting on turn 2. I need to look at something now. So there's some other special stuff going on with bot in here. I think I do it this way. I'm buying the oil now even though I'm not going to use it this turn because I am planning to skip plants on the next turn. And then I'll want to build a 3 and make use of my 9 there again. Roos, I think, probably needs to build Ludwigsburg next. And I need to build Karlsruhe. Ooh, Roos actually builds the three immediately. I think that might be a mistake. So now what I can do... Now, I could potentially build Bubblingen on the next turn, but that might be a little greedy. If I can't also protect Rostat here. Because expanding westward is more important for me at this point. Try to remember, what's the first plant that went under the deck again? 44? Yeah, 44. Okay. With uranium still in the double digits for cost, 23 is nowhere near good yet. Ooh, I'm glad to get a, sh a chance at another plant here. See if like 20... Ooh! Ooh! Hmm. Hmm. This arguably might be a mistake for me to buy. It'll mean I can't build this turn. Okay. Bit a little more though. Okay. Now I'll take it down to an acceptable level. Okay. That's an acceptable amount to pay for 22, I think. Just didn't want it going too, too cheap. So yeah, buying the extra coal was a mistake for me, I guess. I did not expect Roos to build above me last turn. That shocked me. Oh, uh, boy. Hmm. 
Yeah, 22 would not have been the greatest for me at this point. Like, next turn I could buy 28. Actually, wait, no, next... I'm going to be bottom in the auction for next turn. That's going to be sweet. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep my eye out for 29, then. Well, there's still a whole lot of low plants that could come. So I should explain something else about Baden. You may notice you have these kind of weird looking cities off to the side. There's one in each region. These do not open up until step two. They only have step two and step three building spots. So what that means is it takes one less city to trigger step two in Baden. In this case, six cities compared to seven on other maps. Roos just keeps building above me, man. I, again, I, I don't like that play on Baden. I really don't like that play on Baden. Oof, there's 14. Okay. So here's an interesting situation. So this is going to reveal that one of the other last major rule change besides the turn order change and the extra, the weird side cities. The other rule change on Baden is, if nobody buys a plant in a given turn, the lowest two plants get removed from the game, not just one, as in other maps. So the market moves a lot faster on Baden. That's exactly what I will do here. Right? Right? Well, there's 15, so... And 26, okay. Okay. So that's more likely than not to stay on the market. Okay. Now I have something to think about. I think my play is not to buy any extra coal. Right? Or do I want to? I mean, I'm definitely buying extra the extra oil this turn, that's for sure. It's no question. It's just a matter of, do I buy extra coal or not? Hmm. Okay, I think we definitely buy the coal. We have to buy the coal for sure. I don't want to keep, I want to keep Roos from making too, too much money. And I will buy the extra oil still. Again, that'll give me a bit of a leg up for 26. And I'm not going to build. I want a chance to go bottom next turn. Because I do think Pagpo's going to build. 
My suspicion is Pagpo will look over here. You need to want to jump past Roos in the building. There's a chance Pagpo attacks me instead, though. But hopefully they don't do that. They see Roos having... Yeah, there you go. That's what you should be doing. See Roos having better plants than me and go for that. Yeah, low turn order is going to be valuable for with uh, 26 in the market and oil just being gobbled up like crazy. At least 10 is proven to be worth the money. 21, well... That's part of why I was storing coal. For a situation just like this. This should still be bid a little bit because I do think the, the, the oil burning should slow down before too long. Yeah, a bit a little bit. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. I was a little skeptical of twenty six. Because with 21 in the game, like, oil could still be attacked, depending on who has 21, and if they know how to use it right. Interesting that Hypnos passes so quickly on the 20. Okay. The nice thing is that Roos has gotten out of the coal business for now, I think, so... Ooh, Hypnos actually bids for 28 over 21. Interesting. And there's 17, one of the very few remaining duds in the deck. So that's going to be uh, 21 at cost for Pagpo, which is not the hugest improvement over 16 normally, but here with oil getting expensive, it sure is. Problem is, people might let up on oil now. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit, Roost built here. I didn't even notice that. Fuck. Um, okay. Wow. Where the hell do we go now? Oh, it's step two. I didn't even notice it's step two. Shit, okay. That's interesting. I'm doing it this way to try to 
discourage people from buying coal and encourage people to buy more oil. Not hypnos, like definitely not hypnos, but Pagpo I'm looking more at. Where do I even build here? This is weird. This is weird, man. I feel like Roos is just trouncing us all right now. Which, it surprised me, like, they kept building up top in the turn order. And I just thought that was going to be bad on bot end, but it's working out okay right now. Huh, 11 came after the 21 buy too. Uh, this market. I mean, Roost didn't have enough money to build a 7th city, but then I didn't have enough money to build a 6th. So I feel like Roost is still in the lead right now. We just have to hope we can keep up the pressure on oil. Pagpo is actually doing fairly well. And there's 18. So buying 18 might be tempting here. It might seem tempting to me. I'm just explaining Pagpo the rules of Baden. couple options here. I do have a couple options in this situation. Okay. I think I pass and just build here. Okay. 
So as of now, 29 is in the market, and that's what I'm looking for. Problem is, Roos is probably going to build into my shit here. Hmm. Definitely buying the $5 oil. I, w I really want to keep up the pressure on oil for Roos. At least we got Pagpo buying oil again, so that's good. I expect Strasbourg next. That's where you should build. He's got to have the money for that. Right? Right, Hypnos? There we go. I'll just grab that now. Want to steal? I want to steal that cheap city from Roos. And yeah, Pagpo is just building out east, which makes me happy. At least grabbing those cities before Roos does. Like, I feel like we're actually doing a pretty decent job uh, hurting Roos's builds here, if nothing else. Roos still has the south, though. And my little corner in yellow. What we could really use right now is a trash plant. I would be all over 24 if that showed up. Not 19, though. When I say I want a trash plant, not 19. Hmm.
I'll bid this a little bit. I assume it's going to go past 30 and such, in which case I'm passing. The only major disaster of a plant that can come for me right now is 19. Ooh, 31. Okay. 29 is the one that I want, though. Like, I'll bid for this. Because coal should be about to get expensive now. I didn't really want to pay too much for the 25 since I already had the 20. Worried that might win roost the game. We just have to hope to be able to move the market quickly enough that we can all get to step three uh, before roost just wins the game here. Okay. Oh, baby. All right. Well, that's a plan I actually would have preferred over 29, but yeah. This means I'm going to be stuck up top in the turn order, which is going to suck. I assume Hypnos just buys... Oh, uh, he's going to lose an... Hypnos is going to lose an oil now is the problem. Yeah. The mistake of buying extra resources. Well... Not great news for me with my 20 means uh, I did well to get 29. I would have done a hell of a lot better to get 24. Had I gotten 24, I'd actually be second from bottom in the turn order here. I just did not want to buy one of the six capacity plants. Also, 30 came in afterwards, so maybe 24 is not going to be so amazing in the end. But yeah. So Roost ended up getting both 26 and 25 for just under 35 each. But with expensive fossil fuels, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Also paid a fair, very fair price for 22. Hmm... Ooh, Pagpo just buying all the things. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So what I'm going to do now is just play for turn order. And that's it. If I end up staying at 7 cities, I'm actually just going to run the 10 instead of the 20. Run 29 and 10. That's going to be more efficient. Save me coal in the long run, which is important for me. There's no guarantee that 30 stays in the market next turn, so the extra trash buy was a little weird for Pagpo. Just a little. Somewhat reasonable. But I still wouldn't do it personally. I don't know. 
God, I wish I had 24, though. Alright, well, Pagpo's built above me for sure, and just stops there. Roost stops, and I will also stop. There's the stall. At least Roos, um, I'm actually kind of surprised Roos is burning oil instead of coal. I would have, I would have used up the coal in, uh, in their position there. Nobody, nobody's going to buy any of these plants. Yeah, 24 worked out great with 30 not uh, coming onto the market this turn. Had 30 stayed on the market, then 32 would have come after that, and we just would have had a lot more action. Oh, they actually reshuffled the Step 3 deck if... The step three card is drawn from the uh, plants being removed from the game in Baden. Okay, that's good to know. Because thirty nine was not the first plant to go under the deck, so that one was that was act the deck was actually reshuffled in that case. I still think Roos is winning this game for sure. Like, the only way the rest of us could have a chance would be if... Like, Hypnos or I were able to match on capacity and just stop Roos from ending the game on the next turn. Then things might get interesting. Although I suspect Roos still has, a, has enough of a money lead that it probably won't matter. I was not, I mean, I really did, I wasn't so sure about Roos buying the eight and building above me on turn two, like building the three cities right away with the eight and like the five, but that 22 was a very, very lucky plant to arrive for them to end up making that move pay off. I'm buying the minimum resources here because I am planning to go bottom in the next turn. One way or another, I'm going to go bottom in the turn order. Hypnosis 28 bit is paying off hugely, I gotta say. Well, I mean, they didn't run, they didn't even run 28 on the last turn, so. My suspicion is that Pagpo will build this turn. Not sure if they, you know, not sure how much they know about working the turn order game this late. We'll have to see. I 
I mean, we kept oil expensive for Roost pretty much the whole game. So that should help. So we already we already know we're going to have two amazing plants minimum in the next turn on the auction, 30 and 39. And an efficient six capacity plant is exactly what I'll be looking for in the next turn. Thirty-six is the only other coal plant left in the market at all. Hmm. I think I should be okay building to nine in this spot. I think that's fine. Because I will not need to run the 20 on the next turn. Gonna build. There we go. So I'm guaranteed second from bottom at worst. All right, this is cool. Problem is, they're just Roos is just not gonna get stuck with a bad plant here. Probably ends the game on the next turn. Probably? Uh, 50, that's another one of the great six plants right there. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked on this. Shoot, hopefully one of these other people does. With 30 and 39 both sitting right there, eh. Okay, I'll pass on this now. Let his people bid. They going out of my price range for this one. Hypnos won it, which is perfect. Hypnos has the 50 now, so I'm guaranteed to go below Hypnos in the turn order. That's good for me getting coal on the 20.
I'll bid that crazy high and then pass. So, comes down to this. One dollar trash. Guaranteed to get the first buy on trash. Okay, well I got a sweet deal there. And Roost does not get uh, the five plant. Ooh, Roost passes. I really thought Roost had a lot more money than that. Interesting play. Okay. 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 I definitely need to put my coal in the 20 now for sure. But the plan I'm actually going to be running this turn is just, is gonna run 30 and 29 and that's it. The nice thing about this is, Pagpo's in the market for a seven plant too. And the two seven capacity plants are the last two left in the deck. So here's the problem. If nobody builds to like even 13, I'm not even sure 12 is good enough that Roos wouldn't just end the game if we stopped at 12 cities. Definitely have to take these two cheap cities left that attacks Rus. This because it's cheap, and this also because it's very cheap. And attacks Rus. Yeah. That's my play. I got an incredible deal with uh, 30 at cost, I must say. Roos was fishing really hard for a seven capacity plant there, I think. And Roos will now have a problem because not storing extra coal, it's gonna be rough for them if 36 pops up and that's the plant they have to bid on. Pagpo actually potentially builds above me. That's really important because now these cities left are the ones that I really need. Omega plant right here, folks.
Yeah. I'll drop out of this now. Yeah, okay, I think Roos just wins the game. What I probably should have done was stop at 12 cities, come to think of it. Come to think of it, well, no. Roos just wouldn't have burned the coal in that case, but that still would mean Roos would make a lot less money. So I've officially given up on reaching 18 cities. Hypnos has to bid 34 here, I think, and I have to bid as well. But look at look at this with bottom. Look at how far we've ground this market down now. Yeah, I guess staying at 12 cities would have been the better move, come to think of it. Pagpo is not getting coal on that 36, I'm pretty sure. Well, they might. I mean, Pagpo I don't think people see as the threat in this game. Like, Roos is clearly just going to end it this turn, have to imagine. The, the tricky thing is, the reason I didn't bid more for 38 was that, yes, it would get me to 18, which I could potentially hit on the next turn, but the problem with that is, Roos can just end the game at 16 capacity, realistically, if I were to pay a bunch for 38. What's funny is, if the game were to last another turn, Pagpo would win it, actually. <laughs> because Pagpo could just buy the 44 and get to 18 cities, and none of the rest of us can hit 18 capacity. Hell, I can't even hit 17 if it goes another turn. Yeah, this game, I think, came down to that early money that Roos made. I don't know. I guess I should have maybe not paid so, not paid so much for the 10 and just done the 8, the eight purchase myself. That was really the key play that affected ended up affecting a lot of the game. Was Roos and I both started with one city. So whoever got the 10, the other player could just buy the 8 to go below them in turn order and grab all the cheap coal. 
I expected the 12 to get bought instead of the 8. That was... I, I forgot about that part with Baden. That that would have been the move. That you could just buy the 8 and buy out coal from me with my 10. Yep. As expected. I just barely get to 16. Okay, so that should be second place for me. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, looks like second place for me. All right, good win, Roos. Yeah, this was just that really crucial early, the early game that I screwed up with the bot and, the bot and turn order rules. Buying the eight would get you bottom in the turn order. That was the whole play that really turned that game in Roos's favor, I think. Give it up, Peg. Give it up. You ain't getting the 16, buddy. Yep, Roos has 40 left at 17, so yeah, big, big win for Roos. Well, I'm just glad to get a four-player game on bot end. I think that's the first time we've had anything more than a two-player on this. Very, very nice. And with that, I bid you, uh, I'll just say see you later. And hope you enjoyed the botting.